Engineering students at Irving Nimitz High School are designing a prosthetic to help a middle schooler who was born without part of his arm, and that'll help him play the violin. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn joins us now live with more on this really great story. Lynn Ann. Yeah, Steve and Heather, the students have been working on this in their engineering class since about November, and were able to come up with a working prototype in just about a month. Sixth grader Ken Hoy was born without the lower part of his left arm, but his proud teachers say he's never let anything hold him back. My brother did orchestra and he said it might be fun for you, but like you might like see some problems with your hand. Were you discouraged at all when you heard that? Not really. I still want to play a little. So when he came to Lorenzo de Zavala Middle School wanting to play violin in the orchestra, his teachers went to work finding a way to help. Nothing has ever stood in the way of him doing this, and we came to him at the beginning and said, if this is something that you really want to do, we are here to help you and do it in whatever way we can. They brought the idea to senior engineering students at nearby Nimitz High School, where the group got to work brainstorming ideas. Through lots of trial and error, 3D printing different pieces of the project. You know, a lot of pieces broke off. Like in the beginning, we had to definitely modify that. And getting the measurements down to a hundredth of an inch. The 3D printer, it'd be off by a little bit, you know, it wouldn't fit. You know, it had to be that precise, so it did take a lot of measuring. Taking suggestions from Ken and coming up with a workable prosthetic for a fraction of the cost. We just kept asking, you know, how does it feel? What, you know, what, what do you want us to do better? You know, how do you want it to look? It worked really well, so I was like kind of surprised. Ready, go. Changing not only Ken's life, but theirs as well. It brought a smile to all of our faces, you know, and be able to make a kid's dream come true, you know, despite his disabilities or any setbacks he may face. The one that they're helping usually benefits, but the ones who are doing the work, it benefits them a tenfold more. And I just see a change in it. And the students at Nimitz High School are also hoping to make these prosthetics more easily accessible to others by making electronic files of the prosthetics available so people can take it to a 3D printer near them and make a prosthetic of their own.